Hi everyone. So I'm looking a bit lopsided because I wanted to um, do a quick tutorial on how to put eyeliner on. Um, I wanted to go over a few eyeliners that I've used. Um, I've been wearing eyeliner for the past 30 years now. So I've been using eyeliner a lot and I have my favorites and sometimes I venture into trying something new. Um, most of the time when I find something good, I stick to it. Uh, my most recent one that I found that I am loving is the um, Urban Decay Ink for Eyes. Um, this is what it looks like, Urban Decay. Oops, let me do it this way so you can see. Ink for Eyes, Urban Decay Ink for Eyes. So um, this one is um, really good. One of the things you want to look for in a, in a good eyeliner is to make sure that, um, that as you look at the, the tip, that it's actually very pointy and and uh, not not flimsy so you want it to be strong um, so if I go like this you'll see that I can do a um, let me go like this so I can do a thin line with it now they do come in um, thicker tips and thinner tips so if you go look at this blink if you want to do just a very ultra thin blink this one I love this one because it's um, it's a very, very um, thin tip, if you can see. So as you're going on, the line can come very, very thin. You see that? See the difference in thickness between the two? So it depends on what kind of thickness um, you want. If you're starting, I would do something very thin first to um, learn how to contour without getting um, it too messed up if you do go wrong. Um, this I wanted to share with you guys. This came, it's called Vulgar, uh, Pretty Vulgar. It was, it's beautiful looking. Look at this. Look at how nice this looks. You see that? It's like a little um, ink pen. Um, and this is how it looks. And this came, they gave it as a sample for free to a lot of people that registered for it. So I got it because I thought eyeliner. Um, in all honesty, look at that tip. I, the very end of it is pointy, but the rest of it is quite thick. And and uh, even with 30 years experience, that gave me a very hard... Um, let me try and do like this. So that I w It was just hard for me to use that tip. It was, it was hard. Now, it's, it was jet black, which I like. The color was very nice. Um, used it once, probably won't use it again, to be honest. It's very nice. I like to keep it because it looks cute, um, but not not something to use. Um, I used to use um, Art Liner by Lancome and I loved it for the longest time until I found the Urban Decay. Um, this was really also really nice. Um, if you see the tip, it's, it's nice. It goes flimsy very quickly though from use. Um, so you'll see that as I'm, it kind of bends as I'm doing it. And I don't like it to bend that much as I'm putting on um, eyeliner because it it then you lose control you lose control of where you want it to go um, also I looked at 24-7 um, liquid eyeliner the Urban Decay 24-7 perversion I like it the only problem is as soon as I put this one on my eyes my eyes burn so I can't really use that anymore uh, the other one that was my go-to before this last Urban Decay was Stila uh, they have a super duper stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner. I still love this. Um, let me see if I can do this. See, and this one is, is, has been used for a bit. So you see how it's not even, um, let me get you a smaller one to show you that when it's a new one. This, this was a new one. Um, this one came as the hundred point um, kind of giveaway with um, Sephora. So I'm going to go like this here. Mm. see so this one is also nice um, except also the tip is a little bit flimsy it's not as strong um, so again there's multiple types of eyeliners out there I recently started using this Tarte one which I like um, it's very nice and thick but it is it is a thicker kind of tip if you see that it's, it's it looks pointy at the end, but really the, you know, the part that comes right here, where is it? 
that part here is important because right before the tip is where it's, most of it hits your eye. So what I wanted to do is I will um, share with you how um, I do this. Um, I actually do both eyes in a different way. It's weird, but it makes me, it, it's, it's, a, it's just the way I know how to do it and it, it works for me. So I will start by, I will start by going, and I'm gonna use this little mirror. I will go not to the very end of my eye, not to the very inside, but just right before it, like a tad before it, and I'll start drawing a very thin line. And I will draw a very thin line, and then I'll kind of take it and make it a little bit thicker as I get to the edge. And I don't go to the very end yet, so I just hit right there and I stop. And then I kind of look to see where the end of my eyebrow is. And I look at that angle and that's the angle I try and make. So if you look here, I'm trying to get it to the end of where my eyebrow would kind of not completely meet, but almost meet. And then I try and gauge my other eye just to make sure that I'm doing it the right way. And I draw first a thin line and you know you can make mistakes as long as you can fix them so you're okay so there I make that line and then I kind of go to the top of it and fill it in draw the top line first to meet that edge that I ended at and then I just fill it in some of these you kind of have to shake a bit to get more out so then you look you'll see that this one is quite narrow I could have left it there but I like them a little bit thicker um, my wing so I could have left the wing right there and that would have been perfect so I close my eyes you see it straight I open and you can see the wing now I would have still gone a little bit more in here there now I want this to be as thick as that one so I'm just gonna keep trying to go up here there kind of fill it in a little bit at the top and you know i sometimes don't stick to one i'll switch them up to get more um color so i'll switch to the start now because now that i know i have my frame what i'm working with i can actually fill it in with something else if I just want to fill it in, I feel that one eyeliner is not working as it should. Or if the ink is not coming, you know, when they start drying out, the ink doesn't come as bad. Um, I'll honestly have three or four of them. And I'll just interchange between them um, just to get it right. So there you go. So kind of matches. This one is a little bit shorter. Let me try and make it a little bit longer. And that's kind of what I do. I just work between them that way. Um, but in the end, it, it requires practice. And the longer you practice, the more you do it, the better you get at it. Honestly, it's, it's, it really is that it's just the more you practice, the better you get at it. There you go. And there's my eyeliner. So I feel like over here, it's a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker up here. There. And that's it. And there's eyeliner. So just match the other one there. Perfect. So now that's it. And that's how you could do a quick eyeliner. Now, I know a lot of people struggle with wings, but really it's about practicing. Um, like I said, I start, um, not at the very inner corner of my eye, but right before it, I leave a little bit and then I draw the line up to not the very end, but a little bit before the end. And I give it most of my thickness that I want before I mean, you know, I'll make it thicker later, but I give it some of my thickness that I want. And then I draw the line, the outside line. And I, again, like I said, I try and make it the angle where my, where my um, eyebrow my end right um some people like to do it earlier and and higher up i just like to give 
So when I close my eyes, it looks like it's gonna tr it's trying to meet my the end of my eyebrow. That's how I like it. And then I just do that straight line, fill it in from the top, and then fill it in. So do the frame and then fill the rest of it in. There are these templates that are out there to use it. To be honest, I would never, um, I wouldn't try and use that first time that I, I would say just practice, practice, practice. Um, um, sit at home and just do it for fun. Just try. The more you get accustomed to doing it, the more you practice, the better you will get at it. Um, it is, it does become harder when you have eyeshadow on. So when you do it without eyeshadow, it's very easy. It's much easier, I think, because there's nothing to kind of stop the flow of the ink. Um, it does become harder when you have eyeshadow on. So if you have eyeshadow on, you really want to have a, um, to use an eyeliner that's um, newer, that still, you know, the ink is still fresh in it. You don't want something that's drying up. Um, and then to be honest, when these, you feel they're drying up, don't throw them out. Just put them in one of those lipstick holders, like the lip pencil holders, and put it in upside down. So it's, you know, the, the tip of it is facing down. And as you know, leave it overnight. The next day you try and use it, more ink will come out of it. You can really get a lot out of these. Um, don't throw them out as soon as you feel like it's not working um, because you do, you can still get a lot out of these, especially these Urban Decay ones. Um, these ones, yeah especially these Urban Decay ones. So these are really good. So that's my little quick tutorial on eyeliner. Um, if you need a more detailed one, let me know. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe uh, and um, like the video and tell me what you want. Um, if you feel like you want more detail, just let me know. All right, and I'll see you in the next video.